My cousin recently moved here from Secunderabad, India. On a recent road trip exploring America, we were shooting shit and exchanging ghost stories, and laughing at the similarities and differences between American ghost stories and Indian ghost stories. When I asked her if she's ever experienced anything supernatural, her eyes widened as she averted them to the window. Just when the silence was about to be too much for me, she softly responded. Yes, a few. One is troubling. When I was a second year in college, I stayed at an all-girl hostel. I made many friends. We were all very happy to be in school and away from our conservative parents. The hostel was so much fun, but it was also a very, very old building. Electricity was only put in the rooms. Sometimes, candles were placed along the windows if a watchman was present. But normally, once you left the rooms, you were faced with complete darkness. It was common to wake someone up if you needed to walk down to the restroom at the end of the hall. We all had a childish fear of being alone in the dark. One night, I had to use the restroom. It was about 4 a.m. I went to my friend's bed and tapped her on the arm. She immediately opened her eyes as soon as I touched her. I apologized for bothering her, and told her that I needed to be. She smiled at me and hopped out of bed. All the way down the hallway, she laughed and danced. I could not see her at all, but her bangles clanked together loudly, and the bells on her anklets jingled softly. It was very calming. I laughed and sashayed my hips down the hallway with her, too tired to match the elaborate arm movements. She said nothing to me, though occasionally... I heard her hum one of our favorite Bollywood songs. The same thing happened on our return. I fell back asleep easily. I awoke fairly late the next morning to the sound of men in our room. They surrounded her bed. I bolted up from my bed and prepared to protect my friend when I realized that they were administers of the college. I peered over closer. My friend's lifeless eyes were fixated on my bed, the same smile on her face. Suicide. Her time of death was 11.30 p.m., almost five hours before I woke her. <laughs> 